the art forms that I personally find fascinating is performance art, where the artist uses his or her body as the vehicle of expression. It's difficult for some people to understand because it's elusive, it's ephemeral, and it requires the presence of the artist or the performers. Today we have the artist Melati Soyeon Damo with us. Melati, welcome. Hello. <laughs> we would like you to share with us your approaches to performance art and mm -hmm. to help us understand better this art form. Okay. Uh, actually, um, it's. I develop my approach, of course, yes. uh, together with uh, years mm -hmm. and the more I make works, the more I understand also my approach, you know. I started around 21 years ago. Mm. Um, you were uh, trained in Germany. I was trained in Germany. I studied uh, from, uh, at the art school in Braunschweig mm. and uh, studied from Anto Furukawa. Mm. She was a Japanese Buto dancer and choreographer mm. who was teaching performance art at the art school. And then after Anto Furukawa and then Marina Abramovich came. And then after school, I still developed and met some other teachers like Boris Nisloni from the Black Market International mm -hmm. and also like some other uh, senior performance art uh, practitioners mm -hmm. and kind of uh, try to develop also my own approach mm -hmm. by uh, encountering uh, some, uh, you know, like resources from my mm. culture. Your, yeah, your yeah, like origin. Going is. to uh, sh um, meeting shamans and mm. and also uh, like, you know, developing something mm. that is probably related, mm. like, mm. with my original yes. roots. And so now you move back to uh, Indonesia. You're based in Solo. No, I'm based both in Germany and mm. in Solo, but I spend most of uh, my time in my studio in Solo now because mm. now I'm traveling more and more in Asia instead mm. of in Europe. And I think, you know, like Solo, like in Indonesia, is a, is a good base to go. Yes. Mm. And, and also, like, it's closer to my research now mm. that I'm doing. And uh, I'm, I'm doing my PhD now in Solo. So I, my research is also in Solo, like mm. with, with, uh, with uh, senior female dancers. Mm. And I really, really like to know how, how uh, corporality and how uh, but the body, you know, can yes. sustain. Yes, yeah. yes. The body is very important for very you. Important, and yeah. This is the subject that today we also want to touch on. We have three uh, documentations of the performances that you have done before, and we are going to go through one by one and to understand better the essence of performance art. So the first one that you brought us is um, Butter Dance. Butter. So this is a performance in 2000 where Melati use her own body as a butter dancer and as you can see she's dancing on a bed of butter and this is a huge challenge for anyone and how come like how how did you come up with this idea of this performance and how how did you control your body during a performance like this which lasts for 20 minutes okay. so uh, this work is still uh, very much influenced physically by the technique of Buto dance, mm -hmm. where uh, actually also like which used also uh, in many of traditional dance or traditional uh, art to to have the center yes. around the chakra around the like a little bit lower than the navel yes. and uh, to hold this so yes. this is like the center of the energy of the energy yes. so uh, the pain like uh, is probably not to be uh, recognized but because you you are very focused the more you focus and because it's uh, repetitive uh, action so you i repeat it it's just yeah, dancing, every time when you fall dancing, down you have to come yes. up again yes dancing and of course on the butter is slippery so yes. i knew it uh, that uh, i will gonna fall but uh, but it was also like the inspiration of that piece that mm -hmm. we actually know that we take a risk yes we sometimes make a stupid act uh, that we know that it is going to be dangerous but we do it somehow so this uh, of course it reflects a lot with my life mm. that time but also probably also with and many everyone, of yes. every, everybody's life and so the falling is was not the aim of this piece but uh, the falling is not on purpose so it, it mm. i can mm. uh, you know like at that, that moment I, I fell down i fell down 
and I cannot control to hold my dance. Mm. But uh, but then the, the most important part is like to to get up. So uh, to get up again, to get up again. So this is also like uh, giving us like sharing a spirit of I don't know women or <laughs> all of us like to, when you fall down you you, you better get up again and and uh, try again. Mm. So, um, but it's very simple. It's very mm. simple uh, work that based on a very simple uh, moment. Yes. So this moment yes. is of course probably, very precise, yeah, very, yeah, very precise, precise and probably everybody gets mm. different kind of uh, reflections yes. on on that moment when yes. you fall. Yes, and you also, you, you did this performance in um, 2010 um, yeah. with performers, with 10, um, female dancers, dancers as well. Yeah, from Stockholm. From Stockholm. Yeah. So, what is the difference between you as the artist doing it solo and you as an artist more kind of directing and working with um, ten other performers? What yes. is the difference of um, this kind of two types of performances? It was a ten years of butter dance. So my no. my uh, colleague from Stockholm, Sue Ann, she created uh, um, the show yes. and. Uh, because many uh, dancers propose me also like to may I reenact your butter mm. dance? They want to try uh, the, to to feel or to experience the butter dance. I was thinking like, wow, how how can I share this? Because I don't know that everybody, you know, like because I know that technically to take care of my body in terms of how to move and when I fall, what this, where mm. should I hold mm. uh, my body and so on. But I cannot control anybody else's uh, body and how they when they fall, they can fall. It could be dangerous. So mm. I give a walk. Workshop. I give a workshop basically how to hold the uh, the center mm. and how to breathe and breathe mm. out and breathe in, breathe out mm. and how to move the hips and how to control, uh, you know, <laughs> with the high heels and, you know, oh, the yeah. slippery butter on, underneath. And and I think uh, it was a very uh, different or various experience. So uh, some dancers really like, uh, because I said that it, it, it's for, the, the most aim is like to to keep not falling, but of course they um, move very minimum, and yes, and, and yes, it's like yeah. becoming like a competition who can stand <laughs> no longer. longer. <laughs> so, and so that's that's the danger of you know how to, yes. to sh how you share your work. So now you probably can see on YouTube where people try to animate or to imitate my butter dance in the party <laughs> or at the high school and you know it's that, a competition. And yeah, mm -hmm. they put the Adele music on mm -hmm. it. Or to, I mean, you, you you cannot control the public. You cannot uh, how do you say uh, how public perceive yes, a, your yes, work yes. Uh, like like my performance uh, like the butter dance. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's, for me, it's fascinating. Mm. People, how people try to get involved in it. We appropriate yeah, and, and, and try out the by themselves. Experience yeah. it by themselves. So this was not on my plan, of course. This was not uh, like you know, like yeah. Once yeah. the work is out, it's accessible yes, for yes. people. You're generous and open for uh, this. It, because it, there is no way to like to shoe, you know, like you. Copyright is yeah, it's so complicated. Uh. It's very important topic, very important subject. Um, the second piece that you want to show is the um, eins on eins, mm. eins on eins. Exactly. One on and one. One and one. Yeah. Um, this is um, a performance that uh, Melati did in. Uh, 2017 at the uh, pre-opening of Museum Machan in Jakarta. So what is happening here is that um, I was there, I saw the performance and so you came into this kind of white cube space and dressed in black and you have a basin of ink. Mm -hmm. You dig your head like deep in the basin. You have like putting um, ink in your mouth. And it's very kind of magical that this suspension, you concentrate your energies on the wall, which is like your canvas. And we as audience, we don't know which moment you are going to do it, but then like some, somehow at this moment come and you're just spitting the ink on the wall. It's really magical. And after, it was three hours performance, right? Yes. So you have this kind of ink painting on the wall. I have to correct one thing. It, Sorry. it was not ink. It was it's, a, oh. it's a black uh, food color. All right. Yeah. It's, so uh, it's water based. Water based. And, and it's, uh, it, it's, it's not poison. It's 
it's not poison. Yeah, I, I don't. You know, I don't. I don't eat, want yeah. to ruin my body. <laughs> <laughs> this is my main material. <laughs> so, so I, I use this uh, color, food mm. color mm. Uh, material. Mm. Uh, it's very. It's organic material, uh, mm. but it's based on water. It's mm. like basically like But you do want color. it to look like ink. And no, I like the black. The not, black uh, color. It's not necessary mm. ink. Mm. So mm. if the ink is not poisoned, then probably I will use ink. But I like the the black color. The black color and on white so this mm. is like uh, referring also like the the aesthetic of uh, you know like a perf a former action yes. of uh, uh, happenings in the mm. 60s and the yes. 70s yes. so i'm very aware mm. of it and and to reinvent uh, the the tr kind of uh, i would say in apostrophe the traditional uh, act of uh, performance art mm. in the history mm. but this work is actually about the uh, contently uh, about how how you have you are how you as a society sometimes supposed uh, not to speak out. Mm. So it's in the nausic, it's a nausic experience that yes. that's or or even like in the in our domestic life where people are not uh, mostly not only women. I would not say it's only women, but many men also. Yes. They they try so to hold their feelings. their feeling. Yeah, especially actually men more probably to to keep the. The, their voices inside. So this is like becoming like a kind of a nausic, uh, nausea uh, ex uh, experience yes. in your body, and uh, where you like to, uh, you cannot find the word, but explode you, yeah, to explode, spit it or vomit it out. Yeah. So it's, it's really extreme, right? When you see it, I was there three hours was long, but when mm -hmm. I was there, it's like really stretching your body. Um, mm -hmm. It's Treating is kind of a very extreme performance mm -hmm. um, to see. Like as an onlooker, is uh, I, I find it extreme. So I'm also using the sound work, uh, mm -hmm. the, the voice work that uh, that it came like uh, the screen as, yeah, as, as a language that yes. is not a language. So it's like just a, a voice that really mm -hmm. uh, coming from from all the. And you know, like the body, my body was like a text mm. itself, text, not yes. written text. Yes. So, and and for me, very important, like a performance is like becoming a text also for for the audience and for myself at that moment. So, uh, the the concept of the work is growing through the life experience of myself mm. and also uh, the 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 life experience of the audience. This is another durational piece, which is um, transaction of hollows, which is was just two months ago in January. You did this performance um, in Singapore Shanghai Gallery, uh, which is a long durational uh, performance, two days, right? Yes. And so I was also there. <laughs> uh, can you tell us a little bit that? The length or the duration of a performance. How do you design it, or how is it? Um, how, how, like, how do you how do you make it like decide this performance has to be twenty minutes, this one has to be three hours, and this one has to be like a long durational. Yeah, I think I'm a well trained uh, du long duration. I have my body is is well trained for understanding how long my body can endure. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I know the cyclus of my energy, mm -hmm. and I know, like for example, like after one hour, how my how the circulation of my body yes. uh, feels, mm -hmm. and how after three hours or so four very hours, aware so of the I'm state very of the, yeah, during the performance. You yes, are. I'm very much aware, and I also sometimes recognize that it is one hour, it is two hours. So without watching the clock, because mm -hmm. my body tells me. So, so you stop actually when when you can't go on. So it's not that you set it up, it has to be three hours and then you have to go like three hours. No. No, no. I, no, I, I, I know how, how which energy of my body uh, can should stop at the what that uh, what moment? So that means, like, for example, if normally the second hours or three hours, the third hours, I am very low. My energy is becoming very low, and then the after third hours, then, then it it comes up again. So so I decide for four hours, for example, when I decide uh, like four or five five hours is like when my energy is building up again. So then then I think it's a good end normally. 
uh, a good feeling of end, so I don't feel tired either mm -hmm. afterwards. But the difference, uh, like for example, three hours or six hours is for me more difficult uh -huh. because it, it, it stops when it my energy curve, goes low. Right? Yeah, oh, it's a curve, yeah, it's, it's like like a curve a or cycles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. So, do you train your body every day? Actually, yeah, your exercises that no. you do every day to uh, no, to I don't. No, 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 I don't uh, exercise. I admit, <laughs> but uh, but I do preparations. Like yes. if I know that I'm going to do a long duration yes. performance, I just like to control what I eat. I like to have enough sleep and to have like mostly I have a very simple breathing uh, exercise, stretching exercise. This I do every day, of course. And uh, to, um, how do you say, like, uh, meditate. Yes. Yeah. And Would you like to teach me some basic techniques? Um, maybe we can show to the audience a little bit how do you prepare or some of the basic techniques. Yeah, yeah some of the preparations, for example, before. Would you sit up? Do you want to stand up? Ah, OK. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we move the chair a yeah, little bit. Yeah, we move bit. a little bit the chair. Okay, normally, uh, you, you very important for me, like you have to perform, is to recognize the center. Mm. So I, because here is, is the navel, yes. the navel, and then so like a little bit lower, yes. and then you hold this and breathe in. So you're sucking your yeah. stomach. You breathe in with your nose. Nose and hold and. Do you release? Release. Release, release when yeah. you breathe out. Okay. Yes. And then it, it, you hold and then you also feel the the back side of, of your back. You yeah. know, like the, the two, two bones next to each Here. other of your vertebra. Yeah, so like around this distance. And you hold that and try to imagine that it connects with your front part. All right. So just hold and release. Oh, I feel yeah. that, yeah. You know, like so that, that you that can keep your balance. Yeah, like yes, the balance, and also like mostly people uh, when you when perform, they only think about the the front. But I work a lot with my back. Yes. Also, so like to 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 put your focus into the part of your back, yeah. like like while breathing, and then you can move the 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 strength or the the like the hold, and then the, from the upper pet here upper. Uh, part of next to vertebra, no, relax you, and then breathe in, yeah, and release, and then breathe in and hold, and release, and release, something like this, and to give the awareness also sometimes mm. from the back, because uh, to, to perform is not to only show, but it also like, to, to be with, with the with whole yourself. body, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we of, often very uh, very often forget the back part. But so yeah. then you can project to the public. Yeah, not, not if you go to the front, uh, like present the front, you always have the dimension of there is a life behind your back too. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Thank you, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. The back artist Nina Ting and Thank the artist Melati. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.